What's up YouTube, KidMoto22 here, coming to you guys today with, I guess you'd call it a camping supplies video. Um, I'm going to bring you out to the garage, show you all the things that I have that I bring with me when I go camping. Um, I'm going on a six day trip to South Dakota and the supplies I would need for a weekend camping trip versus six days is pretty much exactly the same. I do have some food supplies that I'm bringing with me this time for breakfast and coffee in the morning and got to have your coffee in the morning. And, uh, you know, some some uh, snacks in the evening, that kind of stuff. That's really all I'm bringing for food. I'm hoping to bring some uh, to buy some stuff while I'm there and uh, cook by the fire. That's always the best way when you're camping. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to bring you outside, show you all the things that I that I pack on my bike and the bags that I use to pack those things in. So uh, let's get out there. We'll take a look at it right now. All right, everybody. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all of the things that I bring with me when I'm going on my camping trip to South Dakota. So this is just kind of a little bit of the things that I have that I'm going to be bringing with me and I will give you a rundown of all of these things. So the first thing that I have is this is my Rick Rack bag that goes on the back of my Road King and that bag will carry most of my camping supplies. And then I also have this bag here, which is very handy. And uh, that is my um, Oxford Aqua T50. And the T50 is, um, it takes, it, it'll hold 50 liters of stuff is kind of, I think the definition of that. But that is um, another one of the bags that I'll be using. And that's a dry bag. So if you know anything about dry bags, they are used essentially to keep all your stuff dry. Again, here's all the things that I will be bringing with me. So the first thing, the first couple things I'm bringing with me is I have um, a, little, a little power bank that I'll be able to use to, it's not really a power bank, it's kind of an extension with a bunch of different connections on it that I'll be able to use um, with my extension cord. We do have power at the camp that we're gonna be going to. And so, you know, I need to be able to charge all my cameras and keep everything um, charged up. I'm bringing some uh, bug spray and antibacterial wipes. Um, if you don't know, a headlamp is extremely important when you're going camping, especially to get around at night if you're not familiar with the place. I uh, will bring um, a little bit of sunscreen. I have a small camping hand axe that I'll bring with me, and I typically bring um, a couple of knives. I have a fixed blade and another knife that I'll bring with me. The next thing is, is my tent and my tent is right there. I can kind of move some things around. So that's a Coleman hooligan tent. It's actually a four person tent, so it's a little bit bigger than a person would need. Um, but I also use it for camping with my family. So um, it just prevents me from needing two tents at this point. Um, on top of my tent here is um, a sleeping pad. And for me, actually, it's, a, it's an air mattress is, is what I typically bring. Um, a sleeping pad isn't sufficient for me. So I actually bring a, um, that's just a twin size air mattress. And then of course I have a um, backpacking chair, um, Ozark Trail backpacking chair. Nothing special actually, it's just, it's just a Walmart chair, but it works really, really well and it was very inexpensive. Um, just a, a small camping pillow. I do bring another pillow typically with me um, because that will, uh, that'll be a kind of a supplemental pillow. So for underneath my tent, I do have um, some protection for underneath the tent on the ground. And then I have my two fuel cans and uh, my cook stove set. And I'll kind of open this up kind of quick and just kind of show you what that is. Um, I got this off of uh, Amazon. And so this is really nothing special. It just has all of the things you'll need kind of on the inside there. Um, different types of pots and things. See if I can get this stuff out with one hand. So there's different pots and some cooking utensils. Obviously that's the inside of here is the um, element that you put on top of here to warm everything up, to heat everything. And then um, just another different pan here. And so 
Um, I just got that off of Amazon. That's nothing special. Really easy, um, really easy to use, really easy to put together. I think it might have been 20 bucks for that set and it's worked really good for how I use it. I have a pump to pump up my air mattress. Again, some of these things um, I tend to overpack and some of these things not everybody will have. Um, I have my sleeping bag and um, that is in uh, one of those cinch sacks that you can squeeze down. And I always bring extra batteries for the things that I have um, batteries for and a couple of extra plastic bags and usually some type of, um, some type of rag. So obviously the extra batteries and a rag. Um, hand sanitizer. I do bring something to uh, light things with. Um, I have just an old fashioned tin cup to drink with. This is what I use to make my coffee. Um, this is just a, a Walmart special. Again, um, really easy to use. And this particular thing I like because um, when you're, when you're camping, if you want to have coffee, this is an easy thing to make, just like cowboy coffee. And so you can see the holes that are in the top of that lid. And um, that's basically, you can just boil your water. And uh, this also comes with a couple of um, cups. So those are, those are kind of nice. And so two cups inside of there. And so typically what I'll do is I'll just boil my water right inside of there and then I put the lid on and then um, put your coffee in the inside of there and mix it up after you've boiled your water and then you can pour it out and it usually keeps most of the coffee grounds on the inside. Um, it's not ideal, but I tell you what, um, in a pinch, if you want coffee at a campground, it works really well. So there you go. Um, I always have a light for the inside of my tent. Again, this is just a Walmart special. It's uh, nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, but what I do like about it is it has a bright and a, um, a, a little bit dimmer light setting on it. Um, so I do like that. And then usually when I go camping and you'll kind of see what I have here. So I just have um, some really simple things that I bring with me um, for cooking. And it's just not for big meals. Um, big meals, I, I, I'll like to buy those um, when I'm actually camping. And so um, what I have is just some ramen noodles, um, some oatmeal for stuff in the morning, um, beef jerky, and then I always bring um, something with some sugar in it. So usually gummy bears, they, they usually uh, travel pretty well unless you're going somewhere really, really hot. Um, and, and in our case, it's not gonna be hot uh, this time around. So that's kind of what I bring on, um, on my typical camping trip. And I'll pack all of this down um, on my bike. Um, I'll usually put the sleeping supplies in my dry bag. So the dry bag that's down there is where I'm going to keep my tent, my sleeping mattress, probably my chair, and maybe some of the other supplies. The reason why I do that is I always wanna make sure if I ever get caught in the rain that that's dry. I do have a bag that goes on top of my rick rack bag that will keep that dry too. So um, I'm not super concerned about that. So there again are all of the things that I'm gonna be packing on my bike and I can give you some idea of what this is gonna look like. I'll probably do a later video and show you um, what it's like when I pack everything down. So the Rick Rack bag goes on the back, on the rack, as you see right there. I'll put my clothes in my side cases, and I do have some cases in here, some bags. So I have some bags that I keep in here inside the saddlebags, and those are actually very, very, very handy. So I use those when um, I pack all my clothes in there and I just slide them right down onto the inside. So I'll put the Rick Rack bag is gonna go on the back, back here. I'll have my clothes packed down in my saddlebag and then I use the dry bag will go on the back seat with all of my camping stuff and I'll usually kind of strap that onto the back of the sissy bar back there. So that is typically how I will pack down my bike for this trip. So. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Again, there's kind of all the supplies that I'm gonna be bringing and the two bags that are gonna go into it. So again, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, hit me up in the comments below. Well, there you go. That pretty much sums it up and that gives you an idea of everything that I bring with me when I go camping. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Um, I think pretty much it's all self-explanatory, I mean, but uh, you know, most of the supplies I got either at Walmart or Amazon, I haven't really, it's not been too complicated. I haven't spent a lot of money. You can really get started uh, camping in, 
and uh, getting into motorcycle camping for not a whole lot of um, of expenditure. Now, if you if it's something that you really like doing and you want to do more and more and more of it, obviously you can you can spend a lot more money and you can get different things. But I just started with the basic stuff because I really want to see um, how much I'm going to do it, how much I like it. Um, this is my second camping trip this year, and uh, this will be by far the longest of the season for me. And it kind of will be a little bit towards the end of the season for me. Obviously, in in North Dakota, um, we're not going to be riding very very deep into uh, the next couple months. So uh, my riding is usually over by the end of October. Um, I have ridden a couple weeks into November before, uh, but that's typically about when my season ends um, as that's when we really start to get cold weather and the, the snow starts to fly after that. So, but again, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, you can give me a thumbs up. You can hit the like and subscribe button and uh, you know, let me know what you think. This is Kid Moto. I'm out.